Hello, today's video is going to be all about getting legs ready for summer and it's something so typical about like English weather that one day you're like casually walking along in your jeans, your legs haven't been tended to since like before Christmas and then all of a sudden the next day you have to be in a dress because it is scorching hot. So I have all my, I think it's four steps here, four steps to flawless looking legs and there's a bit of a tip in the end as well to how to make your legs look slimmer than they actually are so I hope you enjoy it. So step one is prep and if you're like me and you've neglected your legs since like September it is time to get involved in a scrub and get rid of those kind of dry and dead skin and for that I absolutely love this is just oh this is my favorite scrub this is the Areco Skin Jive Revving Body Exfoliator. I absolutely love the brand Areco. it's really such such a lovely brand, it's organic and natural, the products have such lovely ingredients in them. This exfoliator is particularly lovely because it's quite moisturising and it has quite a creamy formula while still having the little granules in to actually buff away at the dead skin cells. And this does the job quite nicely, especially when my skin's feeling a bit sensitive. I don't want to properly attack it with a scrub. Going on to the, something a bit more intense, this is the Elemis Skin Nourishing Body Scrub. This is one of the best scrubs I've ever used because it's not too harsh that you're really kind of hurting your skin and it's not too gentle that you feel like you're doing absolutely nothing, it's kind of bang in the middle. It leaves a nice nourishing layer of oil over the skin so you can opt out of using a moisturiser with this one as well. The thing is with scrubs is that it is quite a personal thing, it's kind of trial and error. I also love the Soap and Glory one and the Sanctuary one's really good. I'm not all that fussed just so long as they're doing their job but one thing I do adore is this, this little bright pink mitt. This is from I think it's called Supracore and it's Stimulite and Honeycomb Bath Mitt. I'll put a link to it in the information box below. This just leaves skin baby bottom smooth, it's like a complete miracle worker, there's not like a dry patch or a lump in sight and you can pair this with a scrub or you just use it by itself. I also have a nice DIY scrub on my blog which I will link up below if you fancy reading that. So step two of prep is moisturising and I don't know about you but I find moisturising after the shower so darn boring but I recently bought this and it just makes the kind of process of moisturising your whole body quick and easy and this is the Vaseline Spray and Go Body Moisturiser. They have a couple of versions of these and this is the Coco Radiant one and you just spray it on your skin like this, Ooh, this is going to work, yeah. You just spray it on your skin like that, kind of quickly rub it in, it's really light, easily absorbed, adds a boost of moisture and you're good to go, you don't need to spend ages kind of rubbing it in or anything. It's not super hydrating, it's, ni it's a nice one for summer because it's quite light but something I do like when my skin's feeling really really dry is this Dove Purely Pampering with Shea Butter and Warm Vanilla. It is really thick, you do need to work this one into the skin and then I also have here, can't go wrong with this, this is E45's Moisturising Lotion. I don't think you need to spend loads on a moisturiser at all, there are tons in Boots and Superdrug that do the job. Step 3 of prep is to treat and by that I mean wobbly bits, dry patches, cellulite, all that jazz. So starting with cellulite, I have this Clarins Body Lift Cellulite Control here. This is supposed to help target stubborn cellulite and to be honest I haven't noticed all that much of a difference, I don't really monitor my behind or anything but I have noticed that this has actually helped prevent cellulite as well which is quite nice and it's really cooling so I actually find it quite a pleasure to apply which I don't normally find with creams and then I also have this Soap and Glory Sit Tight Intense XS which I've been using for a past couple of months and I quite like the whole motion of applying this because it has these three kind of cooling metal tips. You massage it into your troubled areas and the caffeine is supposed to help break down the kind of fat cells. I have been applying this all over my thighs and I don't know if it's like the motion of massaging it in or if it's like the formula but I have noticed them feeling like a lot less kind of saggy I guess so I'm really liking this one and I think if I had to choose between this one and the Clarins one I would choose this one and it's a bit cheaper as well. But my favourite one I have here is this Lucky Town Milk Veil for Firming and Soothing. There are multiple reasons why I love this and first of all it kind of has a really nice iridescent finish and leaves your skin looking really glowing because it has little particles in there. 
It has a pump, which I really like. I love stuff with a pump. It just makes it so much easier to control and you don't get messy trying to apply it. It's really easily absorbed as well and it's quite a lightweight formula. I like knowing that when I'm moisturizing my skin, there are ingredients in there that will just help firm it up as well. It kind of goes without saying that you've got to get rid of the hair on your legs. Shaving, waxing, laser, whatever. But something I've found that really helps when it comes to hair removal is this Antony Ingrown Hair Treatment. I think this is actually for men and it's kind of like a bit of an aftershave type thing. It's like a cooling blue gel. It's really easily absorbed, doesn't leave you feeling sticky or anything, and it actually contains glycolic and salicylic acid in there to help exfoliate the skin and kind of prevent any ingrown hairs from coming and actually get rid of the ones that you already have. And this has made a huge difference for me. And then the last step is treating those dry patches. And I get a lot of dry patches kind of around my knees and my ankles. And something that has helped is this Willada Skin Food for dry and rough skin. This is a really thick cream. I don't really like applying it because it just takes so long to work it into the skin. But two nights flat and your dry patch is gone. As well as this lovely favorite of mine. This is French Pharmacy Homeoplasmine. This is another thick ointment. Work it into the skin and it will give those dry patches a kick up the behind. Step four is to get involved in some fake tan and I either go down the kind of overnight route or the kind of weekly moisturizer with a bit of tint kind of route and for the overnight quick fix kind of thing. I love this Zentan Dark Lotion, absolute luxe. This is my third bottle. I actually bought this the other day because I was in desperate need of some of this stuff. Pop it on before bed, leaves you feeling a little sticky, but it does leave the most beautiful golden glow. And one that I use if I need to like go out during the day and I don't want to feel sticky in bed at night when it's like really, really hot is the Institute Estadem Sunsheen Intense Tan Self Tanning Body Jelly. This is a really rare fake tan for me because it is one that you can pop on, put your clothes on and head out the door and it will kind of develop over eight hours and doesn't leave you feeling sticky. It absorbs in like a minute. I really like this, except it is quite expensive for such a small bottle. But then going down the kind of gradual tanner route, I have these two here, and this is the Garnier Summer Body, and this is the Jurgens Natural Glow. There are multiple things like this around Boots and Superdrug. I love the Dove one as well. You kind of pop these on like you would your normal moisturizer, really foolproof to apply, you don't need to use a mitt or anything, and after about four days you're kind of left with this really nice gradual hint of tint. Then step five is instant tan, and there is one main star of the show here, and that is this Fake Bake Faux Glow. This is a wash off instant tan and this stuff is incredible. It's basically like foundation for your legs. You spritz it on, blend out the edges and you're left with the most even looking skin tone. It kind of covers anything like veins. This is a complete essential for me. And then something less intense is the This Works Perfect Legs Skin Miracle. This is a little wash off tint. Again, it's so foolproof to apply. Kind of pop it on your legs, massage it in. Don't even need to look where you're applying it really, but it actually contains vitamin C to help brighten the skin as well and Arnica to help heal any bruises. But something a bit more intense than this, this is quite a pale colour, so if you're fair skinned, this might be the one to go for. But if you want something a bit more intense, the Codely Divine Legs would be the one to go for. I bought this recently and I'm kind of in two minds about it because the colour is incredible. It is quite shimmery, it's a lot more shimmery than the This Works one, but you blend that in and it kind of blends to the skin quite nicely so it doesn't appear as shimmery as it comes out in the bottle. But after a couple of hours, this did tend to go patchy on me, especially around here or in like the creases or anything like that. So a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. The kind of the key is really less is more with this one. And then a budget friendly option would be this Rimmel Sun Shimmer Instant Tan. And I definitely would recommend getting the matte one of this because the shimmery one is quite shimmery. This is an again a wash off tint, but this does leave quite a stain. So it is one that you want to apply with a mitt. And then the last thing is a little tip to help legs look a bit thinner. And this is something I learned in a day with Kim Kardashian's makeup artist Mario. And I'll leave the blog post to that day all about it below. But basically he said that whenever you want something to come closer towards you, use a highlighter. 
He showed us this little trick and I'm going to use the Sleek Glow Face and Body Highlighter today and just a big MAC 182 brush. I'll just sweep this in the product and sweep it down the center of the legs. By putting highlighter down the center of the legs, you're kind of making the center of the legs appear closer towards you than they actually are. So making the legs appear more kind of pointed that way as opposed to just like that. I really like this one from Sleek because you can kind of have it as a sheer wash of shimmer or build it up to something a bit more intense if you fancy it. But I also have two liquid ones here and this is the Saint-Tropez Skin Illuminator in Rose. I really like that this is, has like a kind of pinky shimmer running through it. If you're quite fair skinned, this would definitely be one to check out. But then I also have this Scott Barnes Body Bling. When I have a bit of a tan, this is what I reach for because it's much more bronzy than anything else I've ever tried. So it really helps enhance your tan at the same time. So that is it from me today. I hope you found this video helpful. I will leave anything that is reviewed on my blog down below if you fancy reading that as well as the DIY body scrub. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Thank you.